All right, welcome back to the Jamie Ross Show. I'm here today with Adam Rudolph, a uh, woodwind musician, percussionist, composer, mm -hmm. lives in Maplewood, and we're here to help promote a upcoming benefit show for Shakti Yoga, which is Saturday, June 26th at 8 o'clock, and Shakti is on Springfield Avenue. And um, so, so we're just going to talk a little first about you, and then we'll talk about what people can expect that night. Okay. So, so now you you uh, you grew up in Chicago, is it? I grew up on the south side of Chicago okay. in an area called Hyde Park, and that's where I was introduced to uh, hand drumming in uh -huh. that in that community environment. Um, I played classical piano as a kid. Oh, that's okay. how I started playing music. There was a lot of it was a very um, rich musical culture on the south side of Chicago at that mm -hmm. time. Howlin' Wolf lived not far, and Muddy Waters, Otis Spann, a lot of the great art, blues artists. Okay. And also, I lived a couple doors down from Steve McCall and mm -hmm. Henry Threadgill and the Art Ensemble of Chicago. So the AACM, for those of your people who know what that is, was right. one of the great organizations, a self-determination creative music organization mm -hmm. that was starting in the 1960s and it was in basically in my neighborhood. So those kinds of things, uh, uh, there was just a lot of music to hear, live music, mm -hmm. and a very in, inspiring and enriching environment. Right, so, so did you start more jazz percussion or did you get right into the world style music or? Well, well, sort of both. I mean, I, I um, you know, jazz is an ambiguous term, but, but uh, and even the AACM themselves don't use the word, but, mm -hmm. but I was involved in, I guess, what you could call a creative improvised music. Okay. Uh, it is come from what is called the jazz tradition, but it might not always sound like people think jazz would be. Mm -hmm. and, and at the same, so that was sort of the core of what I was interested in creatively, but what I realized was that if I wanted to have a long relationship with music and keep investigating things, I needed to know as much as I could about all kinds of music sure. um, throughout the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and naturally playing hand drums, I started out playing congas, um, uh, I was naturally gravitated towards and was interested in African and, and drumming and mm -hmm. drumming from the African diaspora. Sure. But very soon after that, actually, got involved in studying uh, tabla, North Indian drumming, uh -huh. and other musics of what people now call world music. I don't know, just music from different cultures. Right. At the time, I mean, now it's it's fairly common, but at the time mm -hmm. to actually seek out a teacher, and when I came to New York to mm -hmm. study, there was uh, one uh, djembe drummer teaching here, Alaji Kamara, there was one tabla teacher mm -hmm. at the Alam School of Music. Okay. Uh, I mean, it was, there was, um, so it wasn't, uh, you had to really want it to go after it. Right. Know? Well, and, and um, do you find it is, I mean, I've heard it before. I mean, New York is so much easier, too, to find some, you know, because yeah. everyone comes to New York or Chicago the same way. Did a lot of different cultural um, influences come there, like percussion-wise? or Not the same way. I mean, I would say black culture, African-American mm -hmm. culture was, was, was pervasive. I mean, it was a big immigrant city also, but more, right. I mean, there, there was, a, a, you know, Italian communities, Polish communities, this and mm -hmm. that and the other, but in terms of what, uh, now I think it is, but in the late 60s, early 70s, there wasn't like a huge Cuban right. or P Puerto Rican community, so I met a, a couple hand drummers, mm -hmm. but I was really lucky, I met a great drummer who had just moved from New York, a hand drummer, mm -hmm. who really taught me the fundamentals uh, and, and a good basic technical foundation in Afro-Cuban okay. and Afro-Haitian drumming. Nice. So I had a good start with that. But then that's why I did end up having to go to, to I'd spent some time in New York. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately I went and I moved um, and lived in 1977. I went and moved to, lived in Ghana, West Africa. Oh, wow. So I was okay. able to go a little bit deeper at that time. Yeah. Do you know uh, Robert Levin? Uh, he he started a Kopaia school in Ghana. I've had a, really? yeah, I've had um, we've had many benefits for the school at the underground, and uh, oh. it's a really really nice, beautiful music. In Ghana. Wow, yeah. wow, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, no, that, that's something I'm actually would like to know more. Yeah, about. yeah. 
I'll let you know <laughs> after the show. And and also lately, one of your big projects has been Go Organic Percussion Orchestra. Is that how it's called? Well, actually, uh, the project it, itself is called Go Organic Orchestra. Okay. And it's actually involves um, uh, uh, all the musical instruments. I mean, all the musical mm -hmm. instrument families. Um, and I've been doing it in residence at Roulette in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a month of Mondays uh, semi-annually, two or three times a year. Okay. There's about 40, I've trained about 100 musicians in New York in the concept. There's about 40 there every week. Right. Uh, what this concept that we're doing at Shakti is, is sort of the percussionists of, out from the orchestra. Okay. Because part of the concept of the orchestra, we don't have time to really get into the whole, I, the various concepts of it, but mm -hmm. just to say that I do teach and conduct an orchestra in Los Angeles. I was in Naples this fall. I'm going wow. to Istanbul this summer mm. and Denmark. I go and I teach this concept uh, worldwide. But wow. the percussion part of the orchestra and the rhythm concept is based upon my concept of what I call cyclic verticalism, mm -hmm. which has to do with this idea of ostinatos, of circularity, an orchestrated idea of rhythms that are cycling around like you might find in Indian music seven beat cycles, 10 beat cycles, combined right. with the idea of the verticality of what you have in, in what we're talking about Ghana, African mm -hmm. polyrhythms, layers of things moving. Uh, so there's a mathematical aspect to it, linguistic, a language aspect and a dance aspect. Mm -hmm. So these percussionists who are performing with me at Shakti have been playing in my orchestra and have been studying with me mm -hmm. and are actually each of them are all incredible virtuosos I mean right. I'm so oh, lucky they're willing to come out here uh, uh, and play at this benefit concert yeah so what we're performing is what I'm calling ostinatos of circularity mm -hmm. which has to do with these this kind of idea of these repetition signal rhythms that are linked together in this way and they have a spiritual dynamic to them because they're designed in a way uh, as you find all over the world, it becomes a call that the, this repetition, this beautiful repetition that's, that's designed mm -hmm. becomes a call, and it's actually a call to partake in the transcendent moment. It's okay. about transcendence, really. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and also, you did do a benefit last year with Steve Korn. Yeah, who you the, know. Yeah, 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 yeah Steve yeah. Korn, and he's been at the underground with Glenn Velez. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and also, you've been a, lot, a few of the... Go orchestra members like Seven LaRue, is he? Yeah, Sylvain, right, Sylvain, right, right. And, and Steve plays in the orchestra too. And yeah. Steve and uh, the other sax guy, what's his Avram. name? Avram. Avram. Right. Yeah, I've yeah. been on your series. I've had him with um, Bobby Few. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah great. It's really great. Uh, it's really great. Well, it's so, wonderful you're bringing, bringing creative music here. I mean, we got, we have access to go into the city, but I, you know, and moved here. I've only lived here a short while, and I really felt, um, right. you know, that I was in the orbit of New York. And mm -hmm. that's but but one of the things that Shakti has provided for me, Shakti Yoga, mm -hmm. is a way to continue my yoga practice, which actually started my practice in Hatha Yoga started in 1975, wow. which was the same year that I started seriously studying tabla. Also, uh -huh. but Shakti has kind of provided a real sort of an anchoring in the community for me where I'm, you know, can kind of be with like-minded people. Right. And it's a great, it's, it's been such a great experience. Anna is like an incredible yeah, teacher. It's a, it's a really nice center. It's a great, so I'm, it's my pleasure to kind of play there right. with Steve or, and mm -hmm. to kind of give to them because they're giving a lot to me. And it's also interesting too, because I look at yoga, uh, uh, having practiced Hatha yoga for so many years, um, it was interesting, I, I, my tabla teacher, my primary teacher was named Pandit Taranath Rao. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, he told me, he was one of the great maestros, he's no longer living, he said that music in India is considered one of the forms of yoga. Mm. And so I've been seeing over the more and more and experiencing the connection, of how that's so. Right. I mean, that, I mean, first of all, yoga is defined as the... As the um, the unison of mod, body, mind, and spirit, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful way to think about music, too. Right. You know, it's the body, the mind, and the spirit. True. But even beyond that, they both have their source in the idea of uh, breath. Every gesture, every move you make in, in yoga is, is, is been, is, comes from the focus of the breath and the center of the breast. And mm -hmm. the breath, and the same thing is true 
in music. That's the breath, that's the source of the, whatever kind of musical gesture, whether you're blowing on an instrument or striking a drum, that intention mm -hmm. comes from that same place. Yeah. Uh, there's so many things, so many parallels. I mean, the idea of music that, and in yoga, it's about uh, relaxed attention, mm -hmm. you know, where you have to be relaxed to move through through the forms in yoga, but you have to be completely attentive and in the moment. Right. That's the same with music. You can't play music mm -hmm. if you have stress. Right. You have to be relaxed yeah. and attentive, and it's all about being right there and present in the moment. I mean, those are a couple things. There's more, right. you right. know. But. Right. All right. Well, yeah. if if you guys want to experience and be present in the moment. On June 26th, 8 o'clock, come on down and see Adam and... Uh, three other percussionists. And Great. three other Matt Kilmer, can I say their name? Yeah, go quick? ahead. Yep. I'm Matt, sorry. just real quick, I know we're... Matt Kilmer, okay. who uh -huh. uh, is an incredible frame drummer also. Mm -hmm. A different kind of approach than Glenn. Amazing. Um, Brahim Fribgain, who's a master, beautiful percussionist uh, from Morocco. He's a Berber percussionist and a great oud player, so they'll okay. be oud also. Nice. And then James Hurt, who is one of the great, besides being an incredible percussionist, is a great pianist who's recorded for Blue Note, whatever. Really very talented, unique person. So we've been developing this music for a while, so it's um, uh, uh, it's going to be a, a magical night. I okay. know that. Yeah. Great. Great. Well, I can't wait. I'll be there. So <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure you come down and check that out. And how, how long have you been in Maplewood? Uh, it's coming up on two years in oh, July. Two years. Okay, yeah. you're a and, newbie. Uh, well, welcome. Uh, thank and, uh, you. Yeah, I love it here. And yeah. I'm glad I got you on the show. And uh, and even uh, look in the fall, I think we can work you into uh, yes. another show somewhere. Yeah, we have to do something for yes, sure. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thanks again. Thanks for joining us on the Jamie Ross show, and we'll see you soon. All right. <laughs>